I'm not gonna lie, I'm not always happy when I have to drive out of the city for a project, but today's drive is totally worth it. We're heading out to Carroll Stream where I'm gonna learn all about decorative painting. Kathy Carroll teaches decorative painting skills to professionals in her suburban studio. But today, I'm hoping she can teach a novice like me to add some personality to a room with paint. We're going to teach you today how to stripe a room, and then we're going to kick it up a notch and show you how to put texture on a wall. Before we get started, why don't you tell us the tools and supplies we need? Well, first, needless to say, you need a wall. Or in our case, a small section of a wall for practice. In addition to primer, we'll also need to choose a solid base color and a different color for our stripes. Choose similar colors for a subtle effect or any color in the rainbow to personalize your space. And don't forget your yardstick, level, tape, and paint rollers, as well as a paint tray. First step, primer. Kathy loads her roller with primer and even trusts me with my very own. You're actually giving me my own roller today. I am. You, you've not seen the show? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I have right. seen the show, but you are scary. Oh, okay. That's why I'm over here, you're there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. So now you just want to roll the primer on, make sure you do a nice, even coat. You're doing pretty good. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. Okay. This is the first. Once the primer is dry, which could take up to 12 hours, you'll lay down your base color. Pretty straightforward so far, right? Once that base coat dries, that's where it gets created. You'll want to measure your wall and determine how large you want your stripes to be. You just do divide the stripes by the amount of square footage that you're covering. So, so painting and math, my, not my uh, strong suit, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Kathy wants narrow, uniform stripes, so she marks every two inches across the wall. The next step is as simple as connecting the dots. Use a level and mark your wall with guidelines so that you know where to lay down your tape. You want to get a good safety release type of tape. You okay. don't want to use masking tape or duct tape. Yes. Many decorative painters actually recommend using green tape, commonly referred to as frog tape, which creates a good seal so that your paint doesn't bleed through. But today, Kathy is using blue painter's tape and has a trick to getting a good seal on the edge. I need your credit card. Once you get the tape down, you'd like to use something plastic. So you want to just use your credit card or a plastic tool. And you just want to lay your edges down like this. You're doing a very good job. Thank you. We're all taped up and ready to paint the exposed portion of our wall with our stripe color. Rolling out the stripes is the quick and easy part. Okay. How you're going to prevent these roller marks is you can back roll it. What back rolling means Show me is a that back roll. once you've rolled it, now you're just going to take the roller and you're going to end everything in the same direction. Ah, look at that. Get it all nice and even. We're going to start to remove the tape. So what you want to do is you want to keep your thumb close to the edge of your tape. Okay. And you just want to start to roll it down and keep your hand. And don't stand back and do one of these. It's tempting. It's not a Band-Aid. You don't want to just <laughs> give it a quick rip. <laughs> right. Okay. Looks great. Voila. Despite the math, this project isn't so bad. It looks cool, it's easy enough to do myself over a weekend, and it's an inexpensive way to improve the look of any room. All right, so I can handle stripes, but can I handle what's coming next? When we come back, Kathy is going to step it up and show me how to add texture to a wall. That's the texture about like oatmeal. And for some reason, it's making me hungry. Like you're frosting a warm cake. Hungry for more Weekend Workbench? Just head to the web and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram.